Our gut is a accumulation of life. It's, it's compounding everything you've learned to where in a fraction of a second, it gives you a feeling. With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. So how often do you trust your gut? Think about this. Our gut feeling is that achy belly when someone walks in the room and you go, oh, why do I not trust that person? Or you hear a deal or an opportunity to get involved in a deal and to make money or do something and you're like, why does that not set right? Or other times you hear something and in two seconds or an eighth of a second, you're like, I want in. I want to do this. I'm excited. Another time a person walks in the room and you're like, I just like that person. I'd love to get to know them. What is that? What is our God? Hey, it's Dean Graziosi. Welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. If this is the first time you're joining us, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to have you here. I just go nonstop trying to deliver values, capabilities, wisdom, and direction that I've learned through being an entrepreneur for over 30 years, right? through generating hundreds of millions of dollars and having incredible success and miserable, horrible, disgusting failures, sleepless nights, overstressed, overworried. But I know what it's like to be on both sides. And let me just tell you, being successful, not worrying so much about money, about life, about happiness, about your health, is so much better than worrying about it all the time. So that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm guessing you're here. And if you haven't, make sure when we're done with this podcast, you go to subscribe to dean.com. That's how we can keep you informed about new stuff, new training, and all kinds of other stuff. Plus, Spread the word. This podcast is growing fast because of you. So I appreciate it. But let's get back to your gut. Here's the way I look at your gut, your gut feeling. Think of a, a mainframe computer. That's the old days. Think of a hard drive, right? And a computer as your artificial intelligence computer in today's world, you know, computers can learn just like the algorithms on Amazon. They know what you want to buy, right? You go on Facebook. How did they know I was talking about buying a grill? They're listening to you too, right? But algorithms on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube uh, are all following your behaviors. They're all listening to what you say. They're, they're following what you search online. They're looking at things you X out and don't like. And they're creating what makes sense for you. Well, I believe our subconscious is a hard drive. And the time that someone took advantage of you when you were six years old and was rude to you, a friend, right? Or, or took advantage of you the first time you did business with somebody or a coworker that acted like your friend, but actually was trying to get your job. Um, the relationship who said they were one way and they were really another way. Simultaneously, the relationship that fulfilled your life and made you happier. The coworker who helped when no one was looking. The friend at school who sat next to you when you were scared. All of those things are getting downloaded into our hard drive. They're getting downloaded into our subconscious. And listen, I, I'm not going to pretend I'm super smart when it comes to things like this because I don't know the statistic. But I remember reading that our subconscious is 80 times more powerful than our conscious mind. If that's true, if it's a fraction of that, it's still significantly more powerful. So here's what I believe our gut is, is our gut is a accumulation of life. It's, it's compounding everything you've learned to where in a fraction of a second, it gives you a feeling. Do the job, do the business, be partners, talk to that person, say yes, say no, avoid that. Don't go there. Don't walk down that road. Don't do this alone. I mean, let's just think about it. how many times in your life have you followed your gut and had success? And how many times in your life have you gone against your gut? You still did the partnership. You still tried the relationship. You still took the job. You still did the event, whatever it was, to find out that your gut was what? It was right. Now, here's what I'd say is I think the older we get and the more, it's not just being older. The older we get, we accumulate more knowledge. We accumulate more knowledge because we have more what? We have more experiences, right? So 
the older you are, that's better. But it doesn't just necessarily mean older because there's some people who older who are older and maybe have done the same job every day working at a factory. I don't mean this disrespectfully, but you're doing the same thing over and over, maybe not reading books, maybe just doing your own thing, watch TV, you know, go to work, come home, do the same thing, watch TV, go home. Doesn't mean your life's not happy, but that's not someone that might be acquiring knowledge, having lots of failures, having lots of uh, successes, reading lots of books. So what I'm going to encourage you to look at is what if all your failures, again, we talk about this in different ways. What if all your failures were there to feed your subconscious, all the things you tried and succeeded feeding your subconscious, all the videos like this that you watch, all the books that you read, all the people you listen to, the live events you go to, all of that is feeding your subconscious. And if you are someone, if you're watching me, I'm guessing you are, if you are feeding your subconscious, then why not trust your gut more? Now, listen, if you're an analytical thinker, you're probably like, oh, Dean, you're a freaking dreamer, dude. I'm going to research the shit out of that. And I'm not saying you should. I'm less of a researcher. At this phase of my life, I follow my gut. My gut gets me in the door and then I'll do the research. Then I'll do the due diligence. Of course, I'm not going to fly blindly because, oh, I feel it. But I trust my gut as the first call to action, as the first movement. So I would love for you to take the time this week and really look back in your life when you went against your gut and you're like, damn it, I should have stuck with that. Or you went with your gut and had great results. I believe it's the 80-20 rule. I believe when I go with my gut to at least take that first step, 80% of the time, my gut is smarter than me. So start looking through a new frame this week. I thought this was really important because I made a decision this week uh, that went against my gut. And at the end of the day, I was wrong. And I haven't gone against my gut feeling in ages. I had my team members and other people saying, come on, you know, no, Dean, you're, you're, you're thinking too much. No, I actually wasn't thinking. The feeling came on me in one one hundredth of a second. But I logically talked my way out of it and I regretted it. So it made me think of this. And I'm always sharing with you guys, whatever's going on in my life is what I'm sharing with you. And the other thing I'll always want to say is if you think I got this all figured out, yes, I've generated my brands and my companies have broke a billion dollars in sales. Do I have a billion dollars in the bank? No. Do I make a lot of money? Yes. Do I have a lot of money in the bank? Yes. Am I saying you're going to be a billionaire, have lots of money in the bank? No. But in this journey of doing all of those things, all through this trial and error, I realized it's the little things that move the needle the most. It's the things like trusting your gut. It's the things that uh, that allow you to overcome the obstacles, to tell yourself a different story, to, to not quit when everyone tells you you should, to not follow the norm, to step out of the, step off the path, to do your own thing and go for it. You have a burning desire inside of you for more. That's why you watch me or else you wouldn't be here. And I just want to encourage you week after week to go for it. Smartly, wisely, model the, 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 the path that other people have already forged but go for it. And remember, all success starts right here. Listen, if you like the video, make sure you click subscribe right now so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, click the notification bell so you'll know when the next one goes live. You can always follow us on Instagram. And if you don't already have millionaire success habits, you can grab it for free at deansfreebook.com. Remember, all success starts here.